It's a battle of terminologies, specifically of black and minority ethnic, BAME and BAME, that is shaping the response to hate inside British politics. While Labour has been quick to respond to allegations of Islamophobia within its ranks, the Conservatives are shying away from demands to investigate claims of Islamophobia inside the party. Decoded this week, Britain's politics of hate. The UK Labour Party under Keir Starmer has been quick to crack down on anti-Semitism. The current leader got rid of Jeremy Corbyn before he was reinstated, while Rebecca Long-Bailey was sacked from a high-profile role. While Starmer's quick response was welcomed by Jewish Labour members and many politicians, a recent survey by the Muslim Labour Network showed more than half of its members did not trust Keir Starmer on Islamophobia. The report says Labour's new leadership is losing the trust of minority ethnic members and supporters. Findings the Labour Party says it'll look into. On the other side, the Conservative Party has a different approach of using a broom and a large rug to sweep things under. During a televised debate before jo Boris Johnson became Prime Minister, Sajid Javid, one of the contenders, suggested there should be an independent inquiry into Islamophobia in the Conservatives, to which Johnson agreed. But nearly a year on, the independent investigation became a general review, drawing condemnation from the Muslim Council of Britain. Sajid Javid of Pakistani descent raised the matter at the debate because a survey held in 2019 revealed some alarming trends among Conservative members. And we should include here, of course, Boris Johnson's own remarks about Muslim women who wore the burqa. It has something to do with letters. Hate crimes against Muslims in the UK have risen since the 2016 EU referendum. In fact, figures released in October showed that the highest number of recorded hate crime offences in the UK were against Muslims. And the Conservative policy for the last 10 years has been to show it is tough on immigration. But perhaps there is a third way in British politics for Muslims to turn to, the Liberal Democrats. A few years ago, Liberal Democrat Lord John Alderdis suggested finding a better term than BAME or Black and Minority Ethnic, but he couldn't come up with one. His efforts mirrored efforts at the civil service, one of the UK's largest employers. An in-house survey at the civil service revealed one in three quote-unquote BAME respondents did not have a preference for terminology. They didn't care about being called black or minority ethnic as long as their issues were addressed. So perhaps the winners of future elections will be those who best represent attitudes within the civil service, for example, and are in tune with the diversity of Britons, Muslims and minorities. Using labels to uh, brush aside the issue of Islamophobia won't solve the problem. Could raising the issue, on the other hand, under the context of equality in law, address current Muslim perceptions? Does this even matter to politicians consumed by Britain's impeding departure from the EU? Let us know what you think. Send me your comments and suggestions to TRT World's YouTube page. I'm on Twitter at Ali underscore Mustafa.